Hey man, I'm already hit the man. I just skipped class, man. At the progress report. The progress report. All right, what's going on? It's your girl, Lala Shepard. This is a new episode of Skipping Class, and I got our ex, Hector, in the building. How you feeling? I'm feeling good. What's going on? Man, you know, I've been trying to get you to come back up here for a long time. Stuff been happening, kept happening, but I'm grateful that you're here because I don't know if you realize our first interview that we did, that was 2017. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy. That was a long time ago. So we got our next guest in the building, man. I've definitely been hearing a lot about you. I've uh, been seeing a lot. You know, shout out my man Nate for always putting me on with new over at Hood Rich and Block definitely put me on to the music as well. So introduce yourself. Who are you? And talking to that mic. I'm Jory. Jory Hicks. Okay. Simple enough. So you from Atlanta, right? Yeah. Okay, that's what's up. So you got a new project, y'all. Talk about that. I got uh I ain't never had shit out right now. Uh huh. Uh, in my first project. No, I'm just nineteen. In my first project I just dropped it. 19. Yeah. Damn, that's what's up. Make sure you talk so to I that mic. Yeah, I got a lot going on right now. You know what I'm saying? Fans, a lot of fans, a lot of, a lot of stuff going on. Tape going, doing good right now. So I was saying salute to Nate. You know, Nate yeah, always keep me man. in tune. And, you know, Nate, make sure you came through that first time. So salute to him. So um, with that being said, how long have you been on your musical journey? Because it's been a minute. Uh, Like since 2000. Middle 16, 2016. Mm. Yeah, that when I first got in the uh, booth of blow around like 2016 for sure. I feel but, like that was a fun year. Yeah. What was you gonna say? In between that time though, it's like I've been on a music journey since 2016, but I ain't had no time to be on the music. You get what I'm saying? I get it. Ever since then, it's been something. Or 2017, I went. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, been a little situation, but. Nah, for, for sure. sure. It was fun. 20, 2016 was fun. It was, yeah, man, that was a great was, year for music. Shit was just different here. What would you say was like your big break, big break moment though? Like when people started to know you and your name, like outside of just the people you hung with. I mean, like 2016. 2016 yeah. when the way he really jumped for real because it was like Blow had a lot of spotlight on him. You feel what I'm saying? Not with him and he was. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Going up here at that time, so it was like, now, you know what I'm saying? We going everywhere, every city, like, everybody mm. like, oh, boom, we got the Who the Crazy Red nigga, you know what I'm saying? Rocking out show, True. we gonna open them up. So he, you know what I'm saying? He did that for me. I, I fought with Blow. Nah, sure. respect, man. We gonna get into Pablo for sure, free him. Um, and it's crazy. I, w I do feel like all y'all do have y'all own look, and that's what made y'all stood out for from sure. my perspective. For you sure. know what I mean? What, what was it from your eyes that the fans kind of gravitated towards y'all? Like, what was it? The way we was coming though, like back then we were coming like that. Money That's rat, sure. uh, 60D everywhere, Pablo dressing crazy nah, hell. For sure. <laughs> Cheetah print belts and shit. That's yeah. what, you know what I'm saying? So that so what it was. Shit. Nigga just different. Nigga just fly different. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. That's facts. So describe your life before becoming like a full time rapper. What was you doing? Chilling, hooping. Oh, you was hooping? Yeah, back then I used to be a little hooper and shit like okay. that. Okay. And hoop dream went downhill, and, you know what I'm saying? Mm, what got happened? Got to the next thing. I, you know, I got shot. Oh, my, got uh, you. Yeah, freshman, my freshman year I got shot. So, oh. like, middle school, I was doing my thing. Okay. Freshman year, I actually, like, made went to trials and shit, like, made varsity in ninth grade, but, like, that, wow. you know, over that break, you go back from December to January, yep. you know, getting shot. Where'd you get shot at? My uh, leg, my artery. I got hit Damn. a couple times. Mm. Yeah. How was the recovery process for that? I mean, probably like, I was in the hospital for like a month, two okay. months. That's a minute. Uh, probably took me like, like three to six months to start back walking. Damn. You feel me? But I was like, like hopping and moving around on it because they like don't sit still on it to lock right. up your nerves. You know what I'm saying? So I was walking, but like I had a limp for almost a year. Wow. Like a crazy little little gangster limp. Yeah. You feel me? But I ended up getting <laughs> that right. Sure. I got that right though. For sure. Right. For sure. For sure. So, okay, when you realized that you couldn't play basketball no more, or what was that What was that feeling like for you? Because I know for some people that's like, damn, like if somebody tear their ACL or something crazy, how did, how did that go for you? At that point, I mean, like, it, 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 it was bad. Because that's what I wanted to do, you feel what I'm saying? So sure. after you give up on what you want to do, it's like what I'm finna do, you know what yeah. I'm saying? What's next, what I'm finna get into, and then that's how everything start coming about. You end up meeting people, you bump into, you know what I'm saying? Got Brush you. shoulders with different folks, and you Got just you. begin your journey, you feel me? That's how mine started, you feel That's me? real, For hell sure. yeah. What's up, classmates? Are you an artist, producer, creator, entrepreneur, and you're looking to get more content and exposure? Check in with us at The Progress Report. In addition to that, we also offer promo packages. So if you want to get an interview or you want to get your product placed on a progress report, make sure y'all shoot us a DM or just email us at admin at tprmediagroup.com.
So DM or email us today for your interview on the progress report. Let's go. The progress report. And a lot of people, I feel like, come from sports. They got a sports background or something. You yeah, know? but everybody went cold for real, though. Right. Yeah. That's okay, yeah. words. Yeah. Okay, wait. So you was a point. What was your position? Point, shooting guard. Wow. Shit like that, yeah. For sure. What you, what you think about basketball right now? I don't even like basketball no more. Why? I watch it. I go. I, I, I like the Hawks. I go. I, you know what okay. I'm saying? Courtside. I watch go games. Stuff shit. like that. I kick shit. Yeah, okay. but I don't. I like football better than basketball now. And, mm. I, and I used to like football growing up. You feel wow. me? Wow. Yeah, I start like watching football now. Word. Yeah, for sure. What you, What you think gonna happen with all these new changes for this new upcoming season though? With what, football? What football? I don't know. It's gonna be crazy. Man. Hey, listen, man. What about no cheese, man? You heard? I'm, I'm like, <laughs> oh, nah, man. <laughs> we ain't gonna get into that. You want some bullshit? <laughs> you want some bullshit? Okay. All right. So getting back into music though so like would you say this when you started to like look at it like let me let me take it serious and when did you start taking this shit serious a lot to be honest with you on some real real talk like now for real that's sad though you feel me because i've been sad, but it's it cool. is though but i'm saying just being real like yeah. now it's like okay i can't play let me go ahead and just lock all the way in tunnel vision i can't do i can't, I can't be one foot in and one foot out of certain situations you feel what i'm saying you can't do this and do this it just don't work like that. You always gonna get tired in some bullshit. You feel what I'm saying? So now yes. I'm just trying to focus, lock in, and really stand on it. You feel me? For sure, for sure. I, and I respect that. I think you know, y'all was in such a unique situation where it's like y'all fans just fuck with y'all off the rip. Where where really it take people's years to, to even build, build that shit up. For like sure. y'all was doing stupid numbers back then. So I feel like you know I can I can understand why it was hard. Or like all right, well this shit gonna be here. You know, versus you going through some shit, then you and I watched it and, and, and not to cut you off, I watched a lot of things change that fast. Like when we had the way we had so much spotlight, it was like, man, we doing this and we ain't did nothing yet. You know man. what I'm saying? So like my attention to music was like, man, everybody already watching us. You know what I'm saying? I'm not focused Facts. on that. I'm still trying to do this. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that's when it it's when it slipped right up under me. You feel me? Like and, and being away from music, like some music is something that you gotta stay consistent too, cause like going to jail and you know what i'm saying like that really took a toll on like fans and your page and your yeah, content yeah. like they not locking in you're not giving them nothing to go to so guess what they do they grasp on what's next exactly you feel me? and that's how they go that's real and you know we're gonna get into everything so what would you say was like your hardest adjustment to becoming a full-time rapper because it's a lot you got to give up it is i mean it is but it ain't, it ain't it ain't hard though you just gotta you know what i'm saying focus like it like that's the main thing about it like yeah I feel like I was put in a situation where I had no choice. Mm. Just to sum all that up. You feel I me? I respect that. I get it. And, you know, when I look at your comments from your fans on YouTube to Instagram, they're like, man, if this nigga could just stay out of trouble and stay focused, That's he it. going straight to the top. No, for sure. You know what I mean? So, like, your biggest distraction, how are you now working towards to, like, just minimize all that shit? Like, separation. Just like, you know, like, my folks, I fuck with who I fuck with, you know what I'm saying? If you don't know it, then it is what it is, but, like, just separation now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I done got tired in so much bullshit by, you know what I'm saying? I get it. Other people shit, you know what I'm saying? Which I don't speak on that. Yeah. And then be, but it's just like me, personally, just separation now. You know what I'm saying? I'm isolated right now, ton of vision mode. I'm trying to focus, sure. you feel me? That's the only thing to do it. Come For back sure. on social media too. Like, I don't really just be into that like that. Yeah. Like, online all day, you feel me? Yeah. I don't be on that because you'll get caught up worrying about, oh, I'm trying to go here, I'm trying to go out. You know what I'm right. saying? For real, for real. No, no, no. That's social media. That's real shit. Mm hmm. Okay. So now, overall, in total, how many bids have you done? Bids. I mean, like, what you count on bids? We, like, can, we can count jail, prison. No, 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 no like, I'm saying, like, bids, what you mean? Because, like, six months, is that a bid? You know what I'm saying? We can count so, we'll say, I yeah. roughly say, like, two real bids. I did two real uh, prison bids, and then, like, probably all together, like, maybe four or five, maybe. Gotcha. Just on some six month bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Probation shit. It's like, okay, no, it's probation. Shit right For sure. For sure. Now, recently, we seen that you was in the alleged Rico. You talk about it in some of your music too. Yeah, for so, sure. Okay, so with that situation, how did you overcome that and what happened? It wasn't necessarily nothing to overcome. It just, you know, it was what it was. It is what it is. It's over with now. You know what I'm saying? We moved to, yeah, for sure. Thank God. Blessed. For sure. For sure. Blessed. For sure. Blessed. So, you, when it, in your new song that you did, the Exit 3 joint, so you talk about doing time in a level five prison. Yeah. How was that? I mean, it's crazy that's what is that's what how that is because it's like me just now on this last case like my first i went to prison my first time when i was 
18. I had just turned 18, mm. and I went to level five. Wow. And I ain't had no time. I ain't had nothing but a five-year uh, sentence to serve. You feel what I'm saying? Mm. With some change, some change to do on it, and some uh, probation uh, left on it. So gotcha. they sent me to level five off the roof. First time I ever been in prison. I'm not a violent offender or nothing. They sent me to level five. That was the first trip. Now I just did a year. Mm. You feel what I'm saying? And I had got sent. I did like eight months in the county. Mm. I got sent to uh, Jackson in like on my ninth month. So I did like two months there. I had like 35, 40 days left. They sent me to Waycross, wow. which is another level five. Like I got 40 days left. Right. Leave me at Jackson or send me somewhere medium. Let right. me, you know what I'm saying for sure. Like make sure I'm straight. Right. Y'all throw me straight in the. But it's cool though. That's, so That's why crazy. I say like I just speak on what I've been through because it's real. You feel me? Absolutely. For sure. Absolutely. It builds character. For sure. What would you say was like the craziest thing that you saw in any of those situations? No, I only gonna tell what you talk about that, okay. those situations. But okay. For real, we, I respect that. No, thank God though. Now for, for sure. sure. <laughs> for sure. What would be your message to people doing time right now? Or people that's about to get out too? Because I, I got a homeboy. He just got out after doing 18 years. Uh -huh. I, you know, we all got people. But like, what's what's your message to them type people? People that's either doing time and people that's about to get out. Like, like, like to be real, like you just gotta want to be out, hmm. for real, for real, because because that's not a rehabilitation for nobody. I'm sure that place is not healthy. It's not good for the mind. It's like hmm. it's bad. You feel what I'm saying? I mean, if you're not strong minded, it'll break you behind them walls. You feel me? So like, the best advice I can give somebody, like, is I got a partner who just did some time, like hmm. uh, real big and came home and went back to jail and like yeah. there isn't like how do you do that much time and you get out and don't even because it's just certain stuff that you're going to do and you can't do like i'm gonna know like okay if i went to jail for this before i'm not even going to associate myself exactly. with this or play like this again because i'm not going to put myself back in that situation so it's like at that point it's like you got to want it for yourself there's nothing that i can mm -hmm. tell you is no advice you know what i'm saying with that situation That's now people who ain't been in jail the advice i can give you is just, just stop trying to keep up what you seeing online, mm. stop trying to walk around thinking you tough and right. around, I want to carry guns and be the biggest gangster because that ain't going to get you nowhere. It ain't going to work. It just ain't going to work. Now, that's the advice I can give for them, for sure. That's real shit. I respect that. Okay, so first day out this time. For sure. Talk about it, man. What did you do? What? What you do for your first day out? Like, uh, what did it look like? Nothing for real. I was chilling with the family. I ain't going to lie, but I was chilling. I went out with my own dudes. Okay. My, saying my girl and shit like that. We went bowling, kicked it with the family and shit like that. Nothing major. You know what I'm saying? Bowling. You know what I'm saying? Had our little day. For sure. Yeah, for sure. Something light. Hell yeah. That sound good. That's not like a plan. Like, just, you know, your mindset. Like, when you got out on some music shit, you like, all right, about to press the gas. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Time for that. We done did a couple of welcome home parties, too. I done did about three of them so far. I'm sure. Maybe, as maybe you should. Four. You know what I'm saying? So As we also should. chill. I'm on the chill tilt now, like, you know what I'm saying? Nah, cool. for sure. I'm back focused now, you feel me? I hear that. <laughs> you got to do that, though, man. It's a blessing, man. Yeah, you, you got to enjoy mean? yourself and sometimes. I know you got a lot of people that, you know, count on you and look up to you and shit, so. For sure. Um, okay, so what's your thoughts on the prosecutor, Fannie Willis? And just her situation, two things. Her, do you feel like it's like, why is she coming so hard for the Atlanta rap scene? And then just two, now her being in trouble, like. Exactly. That's crazy. That's the only thing I'm going to say about that. I ain't going to speak on that, but I'm going to say it's just God just don't like ugly. That's you don't know shit. nobody, life or situations, and to portray an image of somebody or to, you know what I'm saying, just just go live like you just, oh, these people are like this and portray an image to the world of somebody that you know nothing about. It's right. crazy. But at the end of the day, we ain't going to get into that. Just God bless her. You feel me? For sure, for sure. For God sure. bless her and let's hope she deal, get over what she's dealing with right now because that's how God works. That's real. For sure. That shit crazy, right? Yeah. yeah. Get back a motherfucker. Nah, that's for <laughs> real, man. All right, so talking about Atlanta, what part of Atlanta specifically are you from? Clarkston. Clarkston. Yeah, not Stone Mountain. Clarkston. Okay, I'm let's from be Clarkston. clear. Yeah, AZ3. I'm from Clarkston. Brocky Road. Stroker. <laughs> yeah. yeah, for sure, for sure. So now for the people, like, okay, for the people that don't that don't live here, like paint the difference. Okay, see, like Stroke. Okay, Brocky is like the east side. It's like right. It's not Zone Six. We on the east side. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We close. We four minutes away from the Zone Six technically, but you know Stone Mountain is right around Clarkston. Mm -hmm. Like, is you got Clarkston is his own area. You got AZ3, AZ40. Mm. That's Clarkston. And then you got Stone Mountain right next to it, which yeah. is Juliet, Hambrick, all that. Then you got go up this way, you got Glenwood, you know what I'm yeah. saying? And you're going over and over Boulder Creek, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. this is just the east side of Atlanta, you get what I'm saying? But I'm specifically from Clarkston. For sure. For sure. A lot of people be getting confused. Hey, Stone Mountain, Stone Mountain. 
I fuck with the mound, but I'm from Clarkson. You feel <laughs> it's me? It's a difference. For sure, it's a big difference, and though. Think, you got to know the know those. Yeah, right. That's why I'm saying I think unless you, like, experience Atlanta, you you wouldn't get it. Uh-uh. You wouldn't get it. No, I fuck sure. with Clarkson, man. Stroker's still one of my favorite <laughs> for clubs. For sure. Period. No, for sure. For sure. Now, you talked about Stroker's, too, on the Exit 3 song. <laughs> so, so, I mean, you know, Stroker's, what you be doing up in Stroker's? What that's Stroker's a, that's the like? spot. Like, I've been Stroker's going to Stroker's, Stroker's the before it was too, I was old enough to get in Stroker's. That's for the spot, sure. though, for sure, for sure. That's, that's, that's the hood. So, Stroker's, you know, just feel good. It's just like yeah, it's a vibe. vibe. Like, yeah, yeah. You go in there, shoot you some pool, exactly. kick it. You know what I'm saying? Catch you a drink, catch you a vibe. Yep. Like that. Stroke to the spot, man. At home for real. For sure. Salute yeah. to them boys over there, man. Already. So describe your upbringing in your childhood. Like, what type of student were you? Suiting. What are you? Student. Student. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I was actually good in school. Like, okay. For real. Like, I want to know just no. Now, don't get it wrong. I probably was a little. A little class clown sometimes. Okay. Like, but it had to be like a girl I liked in Type class shit. or something for me to be getting out of character. Like, oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cute, let me act up today. It wasn't nothing like that. Okay. But school really wasn't me though, for real. I just mm. never really got into school. School was cool. I made good grades. I wasn't no, on no bullshit in school. I wasn't no troublemaker. I wasn't into a lot of shit all the time. It was just more so I just knew early that this school wasn't just me. I was hoping sports did it. You get what I'm saying? Hear that. It just ain't for everybody. I wasn't really not. It was a fashion show at, at that point. At the high, that. middle school, mm, high school fashion show. Right. Like, let me get out of here already. For you sure. Know? Yeah, for sure. I think it'd be different for high schools when you got to wear a uniform versus you don't. Yeah, they this started. They started. Shit. They started the uniform thing like right oh, when I was. Real. Yeah, they started. Mm. It. I went to Clarkston. I, I, oh yeah. shit! Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, they did the uniform. I went to Tucker first, and I left Tucker. Got you. Yeah, I went around a little bit too. I left Tucker. Went a lot. Don't even like a half a year almost a year okay went back to clarkson you feel me mm. but yeah uh, when i went to clarkson though uh they did they start trying to do the uniform thing like 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 my, my last year there or something like that got you yeah okay. uniform one you wanna fuck it, with it the was uniform? time to go for real there when uniforms came <laughs> oh man <laughs> damn I f- see i fuck with the uniform though because i feel like that kind of made everybody equal because all we had yeah. to focus on was the shoes then yeah exactly so you ain't got to worry about nobody looking at nobody thinking exactly. exactly one of them type things that's probably why they did it though yeah true yeah, for sure Oh, um, did you graduate? No. What, what year did you stop going? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, word. That's yeah. like junior year. Yeah, I, I made it. I was at the door. Got you. Yeah. Are you I'm gonna get your GED? About that. Yeah. Okay. Respect. I'm gonna, it. I'm gonna handle it. Not for sure. I respect that, man. You get it when you get it. Not for sure. Now, um, growing up, you know, in a beautiful city such as this city, man, like, you know, musically, like, who was you listening to? Cause y'all, like, I feel like I'm not from Atlanta, but like. It's, it's so many fucking artists. Like, who was you listening to when you was coming up? Mm, future. Mm. Street. Long Way. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Thug, old thug. Yeah, like, old I came thug. Nothing, thug. Yeah, shit like that. Mm. Uh, uh, Travis Porter. She like, was like that whole wave. Of course. Rich Kids wave. Of course. <laughs> like, of the Rich course. Kids wave was definitely a uh, middle school for me. You feel me? Like, for sure. That was the wave for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. Yeah. Good old days, man. Yeah, for sure. What's your thoughts on the Atlanta music scene right now? Burnt. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, burnt. I mean, I, I fought with the city, though. I, of you course, know what I'm saying? Of for course. sure. So I ain't gonna we go just talk about the, the music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burnt. When he, all he want to get into that. Mm. Burnt, burnt. Home wow. girl dot. Burnt. I don't like it. Damn. Ain't right. For sure. But it is what it is. It is. Yeah. A, a lot of shit done changed, too, man. A lot of people either locked up, passed. Been mm-hmm. a lot of changes. Yeah. So. And everybody ain't focused on the money. Everybody focused on right. who, who they want to be homegirls with. You feel me? That for sure. part. Yeah, for sure. shit different. Um, okay, so I want to talk about just y'all, just y'all moving, the drug rich movement. And, you know, I kind of asked you earlier, like, y'all, like, what, what did you feel like y'all brought to the music industry sound-wise versus, like, what everybody else was doing? A real, we brought a real trapped out, a real get in your car, I'm finna listen to this and go handle my business type of music. Like, that's what we was on, you feel me? Like, yeah. no no writing, no nothing, just straight punching in. We we'll pull up a hard beat, we punching in, we off and go in there and, and, and G the beat, you feel me? Like, yeah, sure. bro, you come in and tag team me, Ma, you go in and tag team me, Peso, like, that's mm. just how we did it. Rockstar, everybody who was around, you feel me? Like, nice. Jose Guapo, everybody, like, you know, like, just tag team in the beat, you know how that go. So it was a different type of swag when you just go in there and just whatever the vibe is at that moment or whatever we got going on at the time, just coming out the top. And that was just that, you feel me? That's facts. Yeah, for sure. What was the significance in changing y'all names from, like, Drug Rich to RX? (sighs) See, that right there is, like, kind of like what I just went through, you feel me? Because, like, this separation, like, Mm. okay, boom. 
I started seeing early like it was gonna be a problem. Yeah. You feel me? That's real like, shit. Like for real, for real, like just being real. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. fuck all the cool gangster shit. Cool. I'm starting to see early like all right. It's a lot of people that I can't control or, 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 or that's, that's, that's rocking this name, you feel me? So let me separate mm. and try to, you know what I'm saying, do my own thing. But guess what, though? If I go buy me a car, this is what I don't understand. If I go buy me a, 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 a electric car right now mm. and somebody else go buy an electric car, even though they don't like electric car because I got it, mm. how can I control that? That's true. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I can't control that. So it's like I can go change my name to Lala, the progress report right now, and drop music under that. And if I got 100 people to come just do that, that's they, those are fans. Right. So to target, I feel like anybody that y'all basically saying that y'all Rico on with an LLC or a name is just crazy. Because, like, agree. how do you – this is not the person I am. Mm-hmm. This is an image that I'm selling of. Don't, and, 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 and when you're not committing crimes or doing crimes or you're not attached to that, you shouldn't be involved with that. And that's what I went through, you feel me, personally, like – that, that shit really bothered me, you feel me? Knowing that what type of person I am and I stand on business and I had to go through that even though I tried to separate early yeah, yeah. from that and I still had to go through it, so. But. It's, it's tough, though, because it's like, like you said, y'all, like, just from the jump, I feel like the first time y'all put out music, people was eating it up. So y'all automatically getting fans and you can't control what a fan do. You can't. So I don't get it how certain shit is able to get used against people neither. It's Cause you just, got people in different states who really oh, got jewelry artists and they, and I never even met them, but shit, they got absolutely. Yeah, I ain't finna tell them they ain't. You know what I'm saying? It's Facebook it fan club. It made me feel good to see that. You know what I'm saying? I started somewhere. I did something that everybody yeah. like. You know what I'm saying? Want to be a part of it. It, it, it. it made me feel good. But when you get the when you gotta go through what come with it, the backlash of it, now it's just like you know what I'm saying? Damn, I wish I would have never even. Damn, should I even, you know what I'm saying? That's real talk. For real. That's real. And just kind of looking back at, like, some of the videos and stuff, like, I had a uh, rock star Marco up here not too long ago. He was just pretty much feeling like he was like a test dummy, so to speak, putting certain shit on social media. Like, how do you feel about it, like, with the, you know, certain weapons and, and drugs and shit? I mean, see, back then, I ain't going to lie to you. Back then, I probably was a little more open. Even though back then, like, like, I always had clean weapons. I never was a person that everywhere we went on the road, like, I, my name was good. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So I always had clean stuff in my name. So anything I was posting is like, I can do this. For you sure. know what I'm saying? For real, for not, not attaching it with drugs and stuff like that. Like, Maybe got carried away on some, you know, some personal use things like that back then. Yeah. But I've been tightened up. I probably ain't posting no weapon or nothing on social right. media since like six and seven like that. Be like I don't. Nah, that's, fuck that around. Was, that was a little bullshit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You you, you got to grow up. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. Yeah. And at that time, that's what was going on. though. that's what yeah, it the was. wanted to that's see. That's what everybody wanted to see. They so it's like, you know, we in Georgia, we in a real exactly. open carry state. Like it's legit down here. So exactly. it's like. Y'all making it a picture now, but you know what I'm saying? When guns legit and things legit or not yeah. even that, what if you're using prop in your videos? You're not testing this. You're not seeing this. Not, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it just came up, but I just been just stopped there anyway because I, I just felt like it. I grew out of that. That wasn't cool to me no more. You feel I me? respect that, yeah, man. Like, you know what's going on. You know what's going on. You think it's a game. You catch up with us. You, you try what you try your luck. Straight up. Yeah, I ain't got to show you I got it. I don't want you to think I got it. Right. You feel it, Frog? That part. <laughs> that part. Me, no, for real. For sure. Okay. So, you know, talking about the guys, what's your relationship with who Rich Pablo won now? That's that's my man. I, I love Pablo for life. You for feel sure. me? Can't nothing change that. That's my boy. What do you think him. it's going to look like when he get out? <sighs> Shot of cold. Oh, right? not for sure. And then, you know, you know what I'm saying? Even though he got a lot of backlash bullshit of uh, him having wrong people around him. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. He got caught up in a little bit of bullshit. I feel like mm-hmm. when he come home, even though a lot of people out here supporting rats and all the shit that's going on right now and co-signing it and doing what they doing, Shot is a solid individual. So you can try to slander his character and take whatever you want to say or make him to be, oh, he got this, you know what I'm saying? He got his shit, so whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, Shot is real. Shot yeah, really sure. is in a situation right now where he ain't did nothing. Ain't that I'm crazy. telling you this, my buddy, like, Shotty, wake up, get high, and rap every single day and, and go buy clothes yeah. shop that's the only thing you're gonna see him doing so for the fact that he going through this and he handling his business and he's standing on that you got to respect a nigga like Absolutely. that you feel what I'm saying? You can say whatever you want to say about him but you got to respect a nigga like that so when i come home when he come home i feel like it'll be good for him i feel yeah. like yeah i feel like he's gonna go back up for, for sure. sure i agree i think naturally like even his fans you know to this day like <laughs> like super supportive they rocking with him so i think you know when he come out like it's definitely on the floor for yeah, sure. On, yeah, for for sure. sure. 
Uh, what's your relationship like with RX Pe Peso now? Peso, Peso is family. You get what I'm saying? So you always going to be straight. Right now we're in a situation where we can't really just communicate with each other, dealing with what we're dealing with right now. But you mm -hmm. family, though. For, for sure. sure. And you always be family, just like that. You yep. hear me? For sure. Hell yeah. We had him up here right before all the crazy shit happened. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, shout he's going to carry it out. Nah, shout for sure. He's going to carry it out, yeah. Fuck yeah. with Peso. For sure. Um, what was your relationship like with uh, Scarfo the Plug? I know he had passed a couple of years ago. What was your relationship like? Scarfo, Scarfo was good people. Scarfo was great. I hate that. You know what I'm saying? That happened to Scarfo. Scarfo was good people, for sure. For sure. It was all a family thing. You know what I'm saying? Everybody nah, for was sure. locked in, handling their business, though, man. And that's what I think that's what the fans fuck with. Everybody was different. It wasn't like nobody was the same. Y'all all had y'all own swag. individual sauce, right? So yeah. it's like it was easy to gravitate towards y'all. For sure. So can we ever expect like a reunion, a joint project when everybody is out? I mean, like right now, I can't really just necessarily be in, in you know what I'm saying, peso on this little situation right now. So it's going to mm -hmm. be a couple of years for me and him able to just, you know, probably make music again. Yeah. You know, we'll figure that part out. But I don't know if we can make music, like send it to each other and Type do two. it like that. Or we just can't have communicate. I don't know how that's going to work. You know what I'm saying? I got to go do a, a sit down with my lawyer and judge if it get, and go over all that. You know what I'm saying? And figure gotcha. that part of that out. But, you know, part of like me blow stuff like that, like, you know, we're not tied in and so like doing music with each other for sure. Like, uh, 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 I be talking to them all every day. So, for sure. you know, we Sweet definitely going to, well, we definitely going to, you know what I'm saying? Get it back going. It's finna get to go down. He going to be on the tape. It's finna get to drop. Everything. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So we everything going to be good. Okay. Yeah. Everybody get to that grown man point, man. Exactly. All that bullshit, that little boy Larry shit. I that shit it. gone. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. I love it, man. Ma, that's the homie too. Him and Quill, you know, I love to see them man up and it's, it's dope to see because yeah. again, like, you know, I'm coming into it at the same time as y'all doing journalism. So we just kind of growing together. Uh -huh. So I love seeing, you know, that y'all able to like, just, just, you know, grow up and, and sure. you know what I mean? For do sure. some different shit. For sure. Um, now, do you feel like the job movement, did y'all, did y'all get credit from the industry, the mainstream industry? No. Okay. We opened up ways, man. Yeah, we really yeah. opened up a real swag trout wave. Like, there's no way that we ain't get the credit we deserve but you know ain't no pressure on it you gotta suck it up for sure for sure the people that know know though yeah 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 for real for yeah. real yeah now um speaking of rats and shit what's your thoughts on the gunner and the wild cell situation i ain't got nothing to say about nobody else baby for sure but hey it is know? what it is yeah for sure would you ever do a song with a person that snitch okay I, I ain't gonna lie, now. Nah, don't. Oh, oh, oh. no, okay. no. But I might get my Kodak on though. You feel me? I'm not mad at Kodak. Shit. I'm really not. If a nigga, hey, if a nigga hit me with shit, that what I'm saying. Hey, look, I ain't your home when it's ain't that. But you, you, I might get my Kodak on. Now don't get it twisted. I like that money. It's a business at the end of the day. It is a business. For sure. Nephew was just up here. He said the same shit. For it's real? a business. Yes. It's a business. Yeah, yeah. I'm not mad at that. I ain't gonna just be going all out and hanging out with of you course, in the studio. We kicking none of that old shit. I ain't even. Music. Know, I really ain't even finna do a song with you. But at the end of the day, now I'm. I might get my Kodak on. For sure. For sure. I'm not mad at that. At the end of the day, <laughs> it is a business. Now talk about you know your music, your style, and, and uh, sound. How would you say that it's evolved and changed? Uh, when I first started rapping, I didn't know how to rap. Mm. So I was going to booth screaming. Going out blow away. Ah, you said this. Uh, you said so. Now I done started yeah. rapping for so long. Now I done like started like actually talking about something. I done actually live a life. You get what I'm saying? So I really got something to talk about. So it's just, you know, I speak what I've been through and what I know. So whoever, you know what I'm saying, can relate, can relate. For, for sure. sure. So that's how that evolved. Definitely, man. That's another thing, too. I've seen your fans were saying, like, man, I was here the days when he was screaming on the tracks. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So, but that's, but that's tight. But I really, I, I really hate that, though, because, like, mm. sometimes I go back and listen to my old music where I would just scream like that, and I, I can't, I, I be trying. Mm. Like, I can't even rap like that no that's more. That's crazy. Like, I really be trying to go back in there and just uh, rap like that and can't. Yeah. Yeah. My mind just, it just, it don't work like that no more. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it, and, it really and, like that. And we talked about like so earlier, so like like you said, I feel like with music is like working out. You gotta just keep just certain muscles. You gotta and exercise shit your brain for sure. Like how how difficult or easy was it getting back into the groove of shit? Like what? Like now music. coming back to rap just now? Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I don't know. I just came out my first time rapping. I ain't do no freestyling in my cell, no writing, no none of that. I literally just straight came home. I went and did a, a feature or YTB. I did the YTB feature. Sure. I just straight went in the studio, all the top, like just 
You feel me? Hell yeah. yeah. Just fluently, like I guess it just it just in you. You feel what I'm saying? For sure. For sure. We did a YTB Fats first interview, man. That shit was so damn funny. For real. Hell yeah. He was like, man, I don't know how to say it. I'm like, bro, you good. So you good. salute to him. Salute yeah, to shout him. Shout out to the fault, man. Hell yeah. The any occasion. I like that joint. Yeah, I that, like that, that joint. That's tough. Yeah, doing real good numbers too already. Yeah. Like Yeah, for sure. And that's for right. No promo. That's crazy. No nigga. promo. No man. label. You feel me? Like, that's for crazy. Real. For sure. Salute. And uh, my boy Spiffy, he produced that joint. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. What, was, Spiffy. What, what does Spiffy say to you, like, on some shit? Like, I, I just know how Spiffy is. Did he say any encouraging words, like, in terms of you staying focused or what he said? Oh, yeah, to yeah. You? Spiffy been on me. Like, even, I like, it. when I've been down, like, he be on me. Hey, look, bro, we got to do it right. You know what I'm saying? Spiffy been around from the jump of yeah. everything. So it's like, in his mind, he done watched it firsthand, like, us slip a lot of money away. Like, yeah. we done lost a lot of millions just yeah. not being focused or not being locked in or everybody not seeing the bigger picture of that shit back then like man we would have fucked a lot of shit up back then had we seen the bigger picture of being together as a whole mm -hmm. and, 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 and like you know what i'm saying unity it would have been it would have been way bigger like but when you he's starting to see that now so he like hey we gotta do this we gotta do this you exactly. know what i'm saying for sure so, so Spiffy, that's what i mean y'all got like all the moving parts you know that mm -hmm. y'all need so i know like when everybody out and all the situations is good the shit gonna be different for sure hell yeah so you said you're independent yeah what would it take for you to sign, or do you want to stay in the bank? A lot of money. Yeah, you're going to have to bring me a lot of money. Y'all out here got shit. I ain't going to say that. <laughs> shit. Y'all out here give these niggas who ain't like that the money. You yeah. got to give me some money. Yeah. For me to sign, for real, for real, because I, I, got, I, got, I got a lot of folks depending on me. My mama, I got to buy houses. I can't go sign a million dollar deal or a budget deal. I ain't with none of that. Come yeah. on with my money. I do that the rest of that myself. I'm already paying for videos and doing what I need to do. Just give me the money. You for sure. Me? Yeah, we'll figure that out later. For sure. Now, talk, <laughs> I get talk you about move. that. Talk what? about that, That you know, just that independent journey, like, and grind, though. Like, you know, talk about how much it costs to invest into yourself. Like, making sure that the quality good, music I just thank God. Good. I thank God. I thank God that I just got the fans I got because I don't even have a lot of music out. That's the thing. I told you, like, I've been rapping for a while, but I don't have a lot of tapes out of you ain't noticed. Oh, or I yeah. don't rap with people. You ain't noticed that That's either. Facts. I don't really just too much food with anybody That's you get what facts. i'm saying but like the consistency of my fan base man like like mm. like every three months on tune like me just dropping being independent i get all my money so like wow. that kind of helps too you feel yeah, what i'm saying yeah. it, ain't, it ain't it don't do much but it's enough to help push into that music and keep pushing back in because that's what i usually just use that money for Got just you. to push back into music and stuff like that you get what i'm saying i respect that for sure Hell yeah and shit, you was doing rapper shit before, like you was even a rapper. Yeah. Like, so how much would you say that you ever spent on jewelry altogether? Mm. And, and de, you know, designer, fashion, that type of shit. A lot, <laughs> a lot. I don't even want. I only came and added up for real. Like yeah. a couple watches, a lot of pendants. I mean, I estimately say on jewelry, probably at least lost jewelry, all that shades, lost shades, everything. Probably at least around like five, five, six hundred thousand. You feel me? For sure. Sound about right. Yeah. Nah, for sure. Y'all been doing that shit, though. Like, be before, I feel like, you know, niggas was, like, even on. Yeah, that's another thing, too. Like you said, clothes, whoo, I can't even keep up with no clothes. I can't tell you that at yeah. all. Because, like, ain't no telling. The outfits you might wear, nigga, jacket might be 5000 Nigga might have $3,000 jacket on, $1,000 shoes, 2000 I don't even know. Type Over shit. the years, I can't keep up with that. Hell for real. yeah. I can tell you in 2022, I spent a lot of money on clothes. <laughs> word. I can remember that year. Nah, for sure. Why, why specifically that year? I don't know. I had a good year. Okay, word. <laughs> I had a good year. That's what's up. For sure. That's what's up. Yeah. Now, you got the song, this bitch-ass baby daddy song. Oh, for sure. Man. Um. Okay, so what's your thoughts on Sexy Red song? You know, the fuck my baby daddy song. What's your thoughts on her record? Yeah, Sexy Red hard. Sexy I, but, Red, Hey, listen, since hard. I've been home, I ain't, you know, I've been I've been locked up, so I ain't really been hearing music. i just been hearing on the phone, like, oh, she's just a little chick. I returned her from St. Louis. Shouts out to Lou. You know, all my family from St. Louis, though. Oh, dope. For sure, for sure, for sure. Okay. So... I came home, man. I go to welcome home party number one, two. I might hear it. Future, I might hear the hardest shit in the club <laughs> going on. Man, since he get on that motherfucker, these hoes pop it. Hey, hey. hey. <laughs> this thing go down. Facts. For sure. Any so shout out to her, though, man. To. Yeah, yeah nah. she turned. Yeah, she turned right now. It and she just be. herself, too. That's probably exactly. why it's giving what she, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. Shout out to Jess. She, she just. She raw. She, she organic. Doing, authentic. Know. For sure. I agree, man. Anytime I go anywhere, it could be a brunch, lounge, hookah spot. They play that shit, the girls go crazy. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Are you a father yet? No. 
Okay, word. I'm working on it. Okay, word. Yeah. For sure. So what made you make that song, Bitch Ass Baby Daddy? I don't know. I just be on some ignorant shit sometimes. Yeah. Really just on some bullshit. For Real. sure. Yeah. Oh, man. All right. Well, speaking of, you know, fatherhood, motherhood, all the good shit, man. What's your response to people that was calling you out for grabbing your mom's ass? Hey, man? fuck you. No, I ain't gonna say that. 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 But no, nah, also, like me and my mama, like that's like my real homeboy for real. Like my mama, like my dog. Like me and my mom been like this. You know what I'm saying? Like that's my man's. When I ain't had none, that's my that's my baby. You feel me? So like I'm different. We my mama from St. Louis. You get what I'm saying? Like mm. we just a different breed of people. You get what I'm saying? Like you know I, I'm from uh, the spot. You know I grew up here, but it's yeah. like. Like that's just how we rock, you feel me? Like, I don't know how your relationship is with your mama or who your people is like that, but like, man, I'm gonna do turn, man, I'm gonna do turn all right quick, sure. you feel me? Make that thing clap one time, it's nah, your birthday, you sure. feel me? That my dog, you feel me? Yeah. Like, for sure, so like, if you feel the way you feel, if you got some ignorant comments to say about that's cool, that's why I ain't responding to nobody about it, because you can feel the way you feel, that's a, a opinion type of a thing, you feel like that, oh, you think a nigga doing something weird, that's what you think. For sure. I know what I'm doing, my dudes know what she's doing, we straight, you feel what I'm saying, so carry on. That's how it matters. God bless you, you feel me? For sure. Believe it. Are you an only child? Nah. You got siblings, brothers, all sisters? All sisters. Wow. Yeah, also, also, it makes sense though. It's like the relationship with a mom and a son is just so. That's different. my own. I'm her only son. You yeah, know what I mean? for sure. That shit hit different for sure. Yeah. What was it like for you growing up though, like with all girls? Being a brother, being a being the only boy with all girls siblings, and being light skinned Right. Whew, you gotta go out. Ass. You gotta go outside. <laughs> you gotta fight. <laughs> I bet. You gotta go fight. You gotta go beat somebody up. That's yeah, all. For sure. <laughs> For real though. I bet, man. Straight up. Damn, mama always looked good. So like, mm. like, 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 you got them homeboys in the hood to be, well, mama do fight. Like, we ain't even finna play like that. You yeah. know, so I got into a lot of fights. You don't like that. But then after about middle school, I grew up. I like, all right, man, fuck it. Mama do look good. Damn, right. It's over Except with. Except it is what yeah, it straight is. Up, straight up. But that's real that's shit. It, though, for sure. Um, okay, so with your hair, man, what made you cut your hair? I know sometimes you go through phases, you cut, grow it. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. I'm so sad about my dreads. Like, I grew dread. It's my first time actually having dreads. You know, I always did the plaits, two strand twists, mm. afros, whatever the case may be. I had my dreads for four years, but you know, and uh, when you do state time, like when I was in county, it was cool. When I was getting sent, when I uh, went over my case and we mm. got my case resolved. When you go to prison, you got to get your they, uh, in the state here mm -hmm. uh, in Atlanta. I don't know the feds don't do that, but in the uh, state, I'm gotcha. not for sure in another city or a uh, uh, spot, but in Atlanta for sure, you got to cut your hair in the state. That's some bullshit. Yeah, but I got my dress still. Okay, I was gonna ask. I cut my dress off. If I, if I went to prison, I cut my Smart. dress off. Yes. Are you gonna put them back I in? Send or? Them back home. I don't know. I want to put them back in, but you know, you got a lot of folks. I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do, but yeah. and they, I'm still deciding right now. The dreads cool. We got the things wrapped up. They, they, they so are safe. <laughs> for, sure. for sure, for sure, man. I, you know, I think it's interesting. I mean, my thing is, if it's your hair, it's yeah, your mine. Hair. I ain't putting no other nigga shit in my hair. That's no, what I'm saying. It's your shit. It's your shit. So yeah. I ain't mad at it. It's just nah, sure. niggas gonna look up like, damn, I thought this nigga just had a haircut. <laughs> so nah, for real. I ain't mad at it, man. Okay, a couple of more questions, man. Um, what's your favorite part and least favorite part about being a rapper? <sighs> what's my favorite part about it? I yes. mean, I don't know, like, I'm gonna be real with you though. That's a good question. Like kids, mm. not like when you see somebody, like I meet somebody that I grew up in the hood, like some older older cats in the hood that don't, you know what I'm saying? I probably looked up to at one point in time and they'll see me nowadays and they'll put their kid on FaceTime with me. Like, mm. you feel me? That's I'd be hard. like, damn, like I am somebody to somebody. You feel me? They feel good. Mm. Now that's probably like the best part, not the least part about it. Just like, I really just want to. I just want to be a nobody with money. You feel me? Like, just let me be lit without the money. I mm. want to do me. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Like if that was a part of it, you know what I'm saying? But you got to get it how you live. It's and it's so crazy. It's like I feel like some rappers can be a rapper and have an everyday life, but like you got such a distinguished look that it's, it's hard. It's like, even if, I feel like if I ain't know you, I'd be like, damn, this nigga probably a rapper or some shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's like, you just got that look. So you gotta just, go with it. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta go with it, man. But I, I feel that though. And I, that's hard. dope to see, you know, that you connected with the people and people actually looking up to you and yeah, shit. For that's sure. beautiful, real. for sure. Uh, what's more dangerous, the streets or being a rapper? Mm, nowadays, the rap, being a rapper is in the street. Nowadays, shit, the way, the way life set up. So, I mean, you got to move careful. You got to you stay ready. You know what I'm saying? Nice. You're always ready. You ain't got to get ready. That part. Shit like that. That part. For sure. 
Um, so, okay, our show is, you know, the progress of prayer. Our key word is progress. I probably asked you in 2017 what the word progress means to you, but what does it mean to you 2024? What does it mean now? Progressing is going up, elevating. You feel me? Success. Like, what's your progress? What's your story? What's your part of it? You feel me? I'm on my journey still, so I'm still progressing. I'm leveling up right now as we speak, so for sure. Hell yeah. Man, well, Hector, man, I appreciate you, man. I think you, I think you dope. I think, you know, if you can stay focused, which I know you will, you got the right people around you, mm-hmm. you going to go all the way to fuck up. For sure. You know what I mean? And yeah, I'm happy real. to see that you out, you look good, and um, this is dope. And I appreciate you fucking with man, us. I appreciate y'all too, for sure. Yeah, yeah. We lit on the progress report, man. Yes, we skipped sir. the class. Yep. <laughs> for sure. The progress report.